What's up, everybody? It's that boy, Lee. And it's Adrian. This is Project Los Angeles. And we are gonna try some happy hour at Las Perlas. Las Perlas. Las Perlas. You gotta say it with your real Spanish accent. You know Las what I'm Perlas. No. And this is the uh, first of three different places we're gonna be going to. We're gonna test it out, see how the prices are, and see how it is. We're gonna let you guys know what's going on. So, let's be honest. Let's do this. No se lo va a negar Si la mujer pide Pues yo le voy a dar Y si el pueblo pide No se lo va a negar Si la mujer pide We're gonna order one order of the mulitas Which is the egg flavor we're gonna do Which comes with queso and green salsa And we're gonna do two tacos for six dollars Carnitas flavor with tomato, avocado, salsa, and crema. Mm -hmm. yeah. You the one, ain't no one can do me like. Love like the one in the movies, I know niggas might want to you bad. You know I'm the one gonna do you right. Spend the next few seasons overseas, huh? Checking on page, trying to see what are we on. In the sheets, trying to make you sing, put a beat on. We go upstairs, right. make a real love. We gotta wear some food. The drinks are pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, now that we're not, let me grab mine. We don't have those people bothering us, so we can give our honest reviews. So, what do you think is? It's pretty, it's a pretty solid margarita, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, what is the flavor of your margarita? It's very limey. Lime. Is it, is it lime flavored? It's lime flavored. It's just a, it's just a regular house margarita. Okay. Lime, tequila, you know, got your little triple Salt on the room. And how, how much was it when you bought it? Seven dollars. See, it's Plus bomb price. Seven ninety. It was not bad. For margarita, yeah. yeah. For margarita is not bad at all. Yeah. It's happy hour spot for them. I'll say get it. <laughs> get the margarita. Get the margarita. <laughs> <laughs> In case you missed that hour long Paloma <laughs> segment, it's a Paloma, it's pretty good. I recommend it too. <laughs> it tastes like grapefruit. <laughs> but I never had a Paloma and I tasted this and it was pretty good. So It was good, not as good as she was making out to me. Yeah, but you know. I honestly thought we were talking about the wrong drink. For a second, I, did. I think I was talking about the different drink. I forgot. That's why like she was like, what? Not tequila? What? <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, I know what I'm talking so about. That's not it. That's not the one. No. Okay. <laughs> Los Perros is making it happen. It's pretty damn good. It's pretty hot. And now we're gonna choose some food. Those are definitely the molitas and they look bomb as hell. And those are the carnitas tacos. Fire. Let's get a good little 360 of these bad boys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Was it breakfast and dinner? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So they like. Bam. All right, y'all. So we're gonna get into these <laughs> situations. A little update. We we, uh, we make friends. We make so, friends, which is great. We're so pretty social. Might be a little cold, but I think it's still worth it because we we have two new friends in our lives, and they're gonna invite us to their their dope spot in Culver City. Bro, he has a house that has his own bar, and he has arcade games from Japan. The kids didn't get any better than that. Yeah. He's like a renovation genius. You see what happy hour does for you? You make friends. He was so happy with everybody. But anyway, so we're going to try this food. All right, we're so not going to knock the coldness because it was it was our fault. fault. <laughs> <laughs> I just our assume fault. it's real, real hot and it's good for us. But All right, so this is the... I'm going to let you go first. I'm this, is the the this. this is the Malitas. This is the Malitas, the egg Malitas. Um, egg Malitas. I think I'm saying that wrong. I'm so sorry. My Spanish is getting better. I with, promise. With queso and green salsa. Yeah, with queso and green salsa. So. I'm not gonna lie, 
that is pretty second. Like, I mean, it's egg, you know what I'm saying? But the salsa with the cheese. It's like an egg quesadilla. This is, this is actually really good. I'm not gonna lie, this is really good. Like the homemade tortilla on top of that. Yeah, everything was homemade here, which was super dope. One more little peek for for you guys with the tacos. There we go. So it looks like these have onions, green salsa, has some cauliflower on the side, and some carrots, which I'm sure is delicious. But it definitely looks super bomb. And I don't know why I chose carnitas. I don't usually get carnitas. I just figured I'd be different. All right, do the first bite. Mm, so good. Wow, how you feel about that? Oh, yeah. Even cold. Pretty really damn good. Yeah, because even this not being like hot right now, it's still really good. How you feel about that homemade tortilla? I can get over like this homemade tortilla. You know what? Homemade tortillas are usually really thick. Yeah. And sometimes they're too thick. Oh. This amount of thickness is perfect. Right, it's not too much. And this chili is spicy. It's my homecoming video. Remember, I'm going to Real spicy. <laughs> real, real spicy. I'm doing that one. <laughs> Secretly. The girl that I just met told me about how spicy this was. I was gonna warn him, but I just wanted him to see if it, I wanted to see if it was that spicy. So now I know it's that spicy. It is spicier than the devil's. What? <laughs> I don't think it's a normal jalapeno. That's like uh, spicier than a demon's pussy. This is demon jalapeno. There's some spicy right there. But it's bomb. It's bomb. I would say from the carnitas tacos I've had. And then it's cold. I would still give like a solid eight. Nice. It's juicy. The flavor's bomb. <coughs> Hot. <laughs> Even with the heat, still good. Devil <laughs> taco. Very, very good. <laughs> yeah, man, I would have to say like for this, I've never had a Malikos before. Um, and basically it's like a hybrid between a taco and a quesadilla. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this, since I, I mean my first time, I'm going to give it a solid like eight as well. I think this is a solid eight. Like it was really good. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to give it. A solid eight. No, that was sad. I already forgot what I made in mine because it was so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we just left Las Perlas. <laughs> we're full Mexican now that we're out of there. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do a quick review of what we thought. Um, I thought it was pretty bomb. My my first time being here. Um, my overall I'm gonna have to say, overall with everything, I'm gonna give it a solid nine, bro. Solid nine, nine overall. Nine. Overall, I'm gonna give it a solid nine. The drink was the drink was good. The food was good. First of all, they had homemade tortillas. Homemade mother <laughs> tortillas. Hell, move for you. I'm playing. playing. You up with the <laughs> homemade tortillas. <laughs> so that was hella vibing. Um, and the vibe, the vibe was cool. And it's happy hour from one to eight, so you can't beat that. Yeah. At all. Killer happy hour. Killer as on a Saturday. So you're. I know you might have done some reviews in there, so the ambiance, what do you think of the ambiance in there? Like I said, the ambiance was, the ambiance was great. I felt like the, the core was pretty authentic. Um, again, the vibe was cool. The, the service was great. So yeah. Bartender, know, was bartender was on it. Luis. Yeah, Luis got his Instagram. We're going to put him on there. Yeah, he's hella cool. Um, Even the the girl I mean, that cook, was, was doing the cook, she yeah, was bombed. She, yep. was, she was hella nice. She yep. hooked it up. <laughs> I love her. I'm going to marry her because she made homemade tortillas. Yeah, she was dope. So love ambiance. <laughs> what would you give ambiance scale of one so to ten? Ambiance, I want a ten. I'm gonna give that a good, a good eight. Eight, okay. A good eight. Food, drink, food and drinks. I gave that a good. I gave the drink. I believe I gave it a. I believe I gave the drink an eight as well. Okay. The food, I'm gonna okay. give it an eight and a half. So that's why okay. I collectively. No, no. I gave the food. Just kidding. I gave the food a nine and a half. Right. Uh, right. So collectively, it all comes down to a nine. Nice. Okay. And I'm pretty much the same. I think ambiance was cool. Ambiance yeah. is super cool. I gave it an eight. I think there could have been a couple more things that could have been like crazy wow factors. That'd be like, oh shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a monkey hanging off that tree. Oh, there's a fire over there. Uh, food and drink were, I would put a nine because oh, come on, food the food, even when cold, was bomb. 
for the price. I think the price value was killing it. Would you recommend going back? Definitely going back. For the show. And okay. I want to go back on a cracking night. Yeah. Outside of the happy hour. But yeah. for right now, just for happy hour, yes, I would go back. Overall, I think I would give it a, an eight. I'd give it an eight. Ooh, that's yeah. good. That's good. Definitely go back, give it an eight. And uh, we're gonna go to our next spot now. Perfect. So here we go. Here we go. Cheers. Yeah, happy hour. Hey. This is the Brown Derby. Bourbon honey seasonal citrus. Josh got the Mezcal del Diablo Arita. Anko syrup lime and chipotle. What do you think of it? Oh, it's pretty good. Bomb? I wouldn't get that crazy. It's, it's good. <laughs> no, but it's good. Uh, this will be really good with the scar. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I love bourbon. Try that. Yeah. All fresh ones. Yeah. 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 We're good. Yeah. This is hella good. It's good, right? This is bomb. It tastes like bourbon. Like bourbon and sunshine. Yes. Yeah, amazing. I like this. Oh, Which one is this? The crawfish roll. Crawfish roll. Yeah, look at that. Damn. Damn. How come you didn't like that one? So that one just that flavors really, off, really, or? Really tastes like cough medicine. It tastes like you went to CVS and was like, Mom. Yeah, she, she left it in the freezer. <laughs> yeah, she pulled it out and be like, oh, take this. Right. Yeah. Which one is that? Lamb. Lamb ribs. Nice. Mac and cheese. Beautiful. I'm like, be very careful, my friend. There we go. Enjoy also. Yeah, mac and cheese. Awesome. And the mussels. That's the crawfish sandwich, right? Bomb. Oh, yeah. Surprisingly, it's not hot. It's going to be a hot sandwich. Is it cold? It looks hot. Yeah, it's like a very, uh, right. mayonnaise. It's <laughs> Nashville hot chicken sandwich, yeah. With three different kinds of hot sauces. So she knew I was going to try it, but she can't tell me that I'm not going to try it. If I die and you guys the last, the last to see me, it was great. It was great meeting you guys. down in history. It's the last day of me on Juicy cheese uh, juicy good. changes. <laughs> Everything squirted out of that thing. Moisture. Really good. Moisture. <laughs> Moisture. That's good. Really, really good. Prue and proper. Prue and proper. Prue yeah. and proper. It's French, so then the X is silent. It's silent. Yeah, so don't worry, don't worry about that. Prue and uh, proper. So that place was pretty good. Uh, for me, I'm going to let you go first. How do you feel about that? So I would say the ambiance first. Ambiance is cool. It's pretty simple. There was like an outdoor area, indoor area. We sat outside and it was pretty dope. It was nice and like refreshing. I like that there was like a breeze going on. It's also not a hot day out, so it's, it's pretty it's pretty chill. So I would say there was like a, a seven. There's nothing wrong with it, but nothing like absolutely amazing, amazing about it. Yeah. Uh, the food and the drink, I would say like a, probably a nine, maybe a 10, but I would probably, I'll say safely it put a nine. Uh, the price, after I realized we got a discount, because I was like, $16 for a chicken sandwich. This ain't happy hour. This ain't happy hour. They lying. <laughs> so it ended up being $11 for a chicken sandwich and $9 for a uh, cocktail. Yo, and it was a pretty decent, like, it was a good size. Yeah, it was strong, too. Like, it was like a, a, like a full glass. A hearty ass sandwich and a full glass of yeah. alcohol. So I would say it's, it was like a nine. Okay. It was a nine. And then I would, I would go back there again for sure. I would recommend it for people to go back there. And uh, I forget what the last category we do, but. Overall, I would say it was a solid, solid nine. Nice. A solid nine, yeah. Nice. Okay, so kind of the same thing. Like, I didn't think that it was anything, like, spectacular. It is a little bit more of an upscale taste, so if you want to feel a little bit more fancier for your happy hour, yeah. I would say that's a place to go. 
Um, the prices are a little bit higher than your regular happy hour, so like for your drinks, look to spend about, well, you're gonna spend $9. Um, but they do have Boilermakers for 10, so you can get a beer and a shot, we'll get wild. Um, but all the food on there was $11, and so that was pretty popping. So I had a, I had a crawfish roll, and the crawfish roll was actually really, really good. Originality. Originality. Originality, originality was pretty, it was pretty original, like, I think. Uh, for me, it was pretty original. Like the, the decor and shit was kind of original. So my overall, food-wise, I would have to give it, my roll was pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nine. Uh, my drink, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a seven. It was, uh, I got a, a Moscow. I think I said that right. A Moscow Rita? Yeah. A Moscow, a Moscow Rita. Uh, so my overall with this spot, I'm gonna give this like a, I'm gonna give this eight. It's a good eight for me. Ooh. Yeah, it's a good eight for me, for that one. Nice. So I'm feeling it. So that was, oh, so that we're one. actually doing this recording in front of our third location, because we had a, just a little moving, but you kind of see, this place is actually two different spots. The restaurant below is no more. So it's no more. So actually, okay, it's just seven grand. Actually, it's, it's just seven grand. Because we're here for seven grand anyway, so it ends up working out. But we are curious, we don't know if there's actually food here. It's cool. Yeah, so we're Which, about to find out. Drinks. Uh, and it's a whiskey bar. Yeah. So if you're into we, whiskey, we have some whiskey kind of sober, So we gonna see how it can test the happy hour. See how it goes. Right. All right, y'all. So I'll holla at y'all in a minute. See Boom. Yeah. Weezy. Yeah. Smoking legal. legal. I got more slaps than the Beatles. Beatles. Foreign shit running on diesel, dog. Playing with my name, that shit is lethal, dog. Who you see? What? Don Corleone. Trust me, at the top, it isn't lonely. Everybody acting like they know me, dog. Don't just say it now, you gotta show me. What you gotta do? Bring the clip back empty. You asked to see the ball, so they sent me, dog. So how you guys like this happy hour so far? Well, we've been here before. before. We want to say the best for last. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you get? So oh, this is the uh, right there, bourbon, lime, and pomegranate. And I got the uh, afternoon Manhattan. Tastes like my dad never left me. Oh, Brandon. Yeah, man, best whiskey in all of all of downtown that I've, I've been to for drinks, happy hour, whatever. Especially the old fashions here, bar none the best. By far, we just got some free. Uh, what was Thank you, brother. Adrian. Adrian. Nice to meet you, brother. Thank you. Seven dollars. Seven dollars. Yeah, you can't beat that. Seven dollars for whiskey drinks, bro. Easily fifteen dollars on a normal day. It's killer, bro. Right, shit, bro.
definitely one of my favorite spots. Yeah. This place, I would say, was probably a solid eight or nine before today. But since I know there's happy hour now and the deals, it definitely brought to like a 9.5, possibly a 10. The ambiance is cool. It's kind of dark, but I kind of like this chill environment. Um, a really nice seating area right here. And uh, yeah, I definitely recommend it. So I would put this place at a solid 10 out of 10. Wow, it's a lot of ones. Same, same, same. We're back a few days later after uh, we did our reviews for Happy Hour in Los Angeles on Saturdays. I uh, have the great Lee back. What up, y'all? What up? It's me, that boy Lee. <laughs> what up, what up? It's Pavin. Yeah, so pretty much what we're going to do uh, is just give a summary of what our reviews were for the three happy hour joints we went to, which was Las Perlas. Pru and Proper. Pru and Proper. I hope, that, I hope that's really how you pronounce it. Watch, we're going to look it up and it's like... Comp- <laughs> we it's probably should have done this before, X. but oh, who cares? Hilarious. It's yeah, actually so Prukes. <laughs> and we just sound like dumb <laughs> trying to be French. <laughs> and uh, and then, Seven Grand. Yes. Seven Grand. So we did those three reviews and... If you want to start, how would you how would you recommend these from best to worst? So from best to worst. So how I would recommend if you're visiting LA on a Saturday day, you know, and you're looking, you're not going to brunch, you're looking for a happy hour. I would say the best one to start with would be um, Los Perlas because you get okay. good food for the price. Like the price is crazy, like six dollars for anything on the menu. The bartender is super cool. Um, I like the outside seating. You get to people watch, or you can sit inside, but who does that and just go outside and watch people? Yeah. Um, so that would be my first one. The second one would be seven grand, um, especially because they're happy hours from one to eight, so you can't, like that's all day. And if you want to take a break between eating, that's a good place to go just to get some drinks for seven bucks. Um, and then their ambiance is like freaking dope. It's an old school, like, speakeasy type feel. Yeah. Um, and all the bartenders are pretty cool. And um, then Brewer Poppers would be the last one. Just because, like, it's, like, damn near a regular restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, they're happy. Hour. Like, the, the food price is low-key expensive. But on happy hour, it's, like, 10 bucks. Um, so you can't really beat that. Whereas normally, yeah. like, close to almost 20. So you get half, of, half, half off pretty much. If you were to go to Los Preles and then go to Seven Grand, that's about no more than ten minutes. Yeah, you probably get there actually quicker because they're they're pretty close to each other. Because Los Preles is off of Sixth Street. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, no, it was cool. Everything was really close, which which I don't think we planned it originally, but it ended up working out really well because we just go from whatever our first destination, and then bam, 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 and then we take off, and it was all like really, really close and convenient. But um, yeah, I would. I, I'm pretty much. I'm pretty much going to rank it from number one. Uh, We went to Las Perlas. I gave it like an eight. Then we went to um, Pru and Pop Proper. That's how you say it. And I gave that a nine. And then Seven Grand, I gave a 10, which I think is funny because I was just telling you before we started recording, I have different points of views on how I think my experience is afterwards, after I get to reflect a little bit more. Yeah. So at the moment... Like, actually... Actually, they now all I think about okay. it. Yeah. <laughs> but now, since I'm a more wiser, older man, I, I would actually... And I always do this. I put the worst one, I make it the best one. Because now I think about my experience, I would put Las Perlas number See, one. I knew it. Because Las Perlas, like, man, were, I don't know if it was like it was the first one and it was like we're exciting to to do our first happy hour review and like we were just pumped and the price were killer and the drinks were killer and it was just like we were at a like a high of, of the day. And then Prune Proper, it was cool, but I would almost put Prune Proper like last. I think I'll put Seven Grand second because Seven Grand, I mean, we got like we made a friend with the bartender. We got free shots. That's what I'm our saying. Our drinks were like killer cheap, like Yo. insane. So, I don't know. I, I guess I would change it. I guess I would change it to Las Perlas, uh, Seven Grand, and then Prune and Proper now that I'm a, a changed man. So, it's, <laughs> now that I've grown wiser. Yeah. Um, so, it's safe to say that, yeah, man, that's, then that's the order. That's, yeah. We're on the same page. Yeah. Yeah. 
But uh, yeah, I mean, good. it was good, man. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun, and I think the beauty of it was that they were happy hour on Saturdays because happy hour is easier to find during the week, but in all realness, it's hard to get together with people and have happy hour during the week. Yeah, because everybody's so, so busy. Yeah, like people generally work nine to five. So Saturday is like, I mean, we did a bunch of research and like half of mine that I found weren't even on Saturdays. They were closed on Saturdays. And it was just like, man, there's there's a bunch of happy hour places, but none of them do it Saturdays. Yeah. Let me tell you, it wasn't easy finding happy hour places. On you a, did on your a, research on a weekend, good, man. man. Like it was, yeah. a, you know, it's even more crazy. When we were... <laughs> When we were going to the places, I was like, wait a minute. I think I've been here before. Yeah. Oh, shit. I was drunk last time. <laughs> yeah. Las Perlas. Apparently, yeah. I've been there twice. Like, but when I walked in there, I was like, I never heard of Las Perlas. And I walked in, I was like, wait a minute. I have been here before. <laughs> so uh, it's also like when you're at a place at nighttime and then you go there well, during it's like the two day. Different, it's like two different things. Whole different environment. Yeah, yeah. There's like the tables are moved. The outside area, there's food at, and during the day. But at nighttime, there's no food. Yeah, it's so, like completely like it's like a whole different place. Different place. Like I yeah. didn't even know that it was a spot to go for happy hour. Yeah, man. Thank you for for finding them and joining me on the journey. I think this is gonna be a good like jump off point for a lot of other places. We have, you know, I think we're gonna do a, a taco one. Like oh, a, yeah. Because you got your your page that yeah, you've already started or so, Lee Let's Cook. Okay. Um I'm working on it right now. So I have fashionable eats, so this is actually something where I actually uh, I go around and I check out different places, uh, food spots and restaurants, and I try yeah. to do as much as non chain restaurants as possible. Okay, um, but now because I love food so much, I actually cook all the time. So yeah, Lee Less Cook is actually going to be coming out soon, and yeah, man, we're going to be collabing on that too. Yeah, we're not doing a merger of two different channels. Lee, follow. Josh's uh, food page, Fashionable Eats. Yeah, Fashionable Eats. And then the new one. And then actually, it's follow my just follow my regular page because that's where it's yeah. all going to be funneled through. Which so is that what? boy Lee, L E I G H for Lee. Yeah. Hope you guys liked the happy hour episode. Hopefully, it's useful for anyone who's looking for happy hour on Saturdays. You're going to see a lot more of us. Yeah, man. And if y'all know any places, uh, just comment below and then tell us about some places that you think we should check out. Even if y'all know some recipes that maybe y'all want to see us cook or something, let us know. Yeah, man. Anyways, thank you for for helping me do the happy hour thing. You're an awesome guest. And and so this is Podjug Los Angeles, episode three, happy hour, best happy hour in downtown LA is Adrian. That boy Lee. See you next time. Adios.